and press play on something new this June when the first ever Heartland Gaming Con loads up in Cape Girardeau. Organizers say there will be something for everyone on June 1st and 2nd at the AC Braze Arena. That includes video games, role-playing games, board games, miniature games, really all the games. The event is also beginner-friendly, meaning you don't have to be a pro to get in on the fun. There will be vendors, play to win games for prizes, a consignment store to buy and sell games, a whole lot of activities going on there. Chris Elfring joins us to the show to tell us more about this. How's it going? It's going. How are you? I'm great. So this is the first ever gaming con here. It is, and we are very excited for it. So kind of tell me about why you guys decided to put it on. The big reason behind this is the gamers, as we know, are, are your typical basement dwellers. Um, and so we wanted to give everybody a way to kind of build the community. Mm. And as an educator, I know that the adolescents and the benefits for the adolescents for gaming is just massive. So we wanted to build that community even more in the Southeast Missouri region. So that's kind of why we're doing it is the, this convention is going to be the heart of that new effort to build the community. I mean, whenever people bring up the topic of video games, whether they play themselves or they know somebody that plays, how strong does that community get? Uh, whenever you're looking at video games, it gets very strong, especially when you're looking at the online aspect. But whenever you're looking at all the other gamers, I have friends who have been playing with the same people like for D&D for 30, 30, 40 years. Yeah. So it gets to be very, very strong. So does it cost money to go to this? It does. Um, right now we have badges on pre-sale that ends Monday. Uh, you can get a weekend badge for $20 or you can get in for Saturday for $13, Sunday for $10. Um, prices do go up a couple dollars um, whenever it's just at the door. So Yeah, and uh, kind of tell me about the interest that has built around this so far. Um, there's been a lot of interest. Like we have a lot of vendors ranging from everywhere from here in Cape Girardeau all the way up to Salem, Missouri, St. Louis. We have game producers, we have writers, we have artists. So there's been a lot of interest on that side and we have a lot of interest um, from people coming up from Kentucky and il into Illinois mm -hmm. and St. Louis and all over the area. So we're really excited for that interest. Okay, so if people are like, yeah, let's do this, let's go, what should they bring with them? Um, main thing is to bring themselves yeah. and bring a lot of excitement because there's going to be so much for them to do at the convention that they may get a little overwhelmed, especially if they've never been to a convention like this before. Because mm. um, we are going to have gaming of all kinds going on throughout the entire weekend. Um, they can bring some of their own games if they want to meet up with people and play their own stuff. And like you said, there's a consignment area that even attendees can bring games to and sell. Are you expecting people to get the, the costumes going? If they want to come in costume and cosplay, we are completely fine with that. Cool. I've thought about doing it myself, <laughs> but I just haven't had the time to put it together yet, so we'll see. And being able to say that you are the first one here recently to do this, um, kind of what do you hope people take away by this? We hope people take away the idea that there is no reason for people to say we can't find somebody to game with. Um, whether it's a day during the week or the weekend, we want people to take away a feeling of community and a feeling of being a member of this gaming family, that they meet new friends and they come away with a lot of opportunity to game in the future. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. We appreciate it so much. No problem.